excited. I'm um, a member of the AZAC chapter here in rural Ireland, so I'm also the local chapter president. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, wildlife and uh, reasons to uh, prevent and not use buckshot uh, when hunting. So um, we're going to talk about a case of a canvasback duck. Okay, so this is a canvasback duck. Um, we not only take care of animals that are here at the zoo, but um, every now and again we get some wildlife cases in. This is a, a wildlife case that came in to us last week. Um, this was a duck that um, a fisherman had found uh, that was not doing very well. We brought it into the hospital and did a physical exam. We do physical exams on all of our animals and any wildlife cases that came in. Upon physical exam, uh, we found that it was just uh, basically lethargic. We drew some blood and we went ahead and took some radiographs. Uh, we found that this animal actually had ingested a lot of lead buckshot, uh, which is very bad because lead is toxic to uh, a lot of animals, not only birds, but mammals and uh, reptiles as well. And so we needed to go ahead and get that out and start um, treating that animal for the lead toxicity. So it's been in the hospital. We've been trying to get him to eat on his own. We've offered him water and food. And we're also making sure that he remains hydrated by giving him fluids. So currently we're giving him some sub-Q fluids. We also have started him on some antibiotics as well as some meds that are chelating meds, which actually try to take the lead out of the bloodstream and um, so that he gets better. Lead actually causes um, some neurological symptoms and so by using those medications uh, it actually will help uh, prevent him from being neurologic. Now what we're going to do, because he's not quite eating on his own, is we're going to go ahead and tube feed him uh, a, a gruel mixture that gives him, will give him some energy. It also contains the medications in there so we don't have to give him any more injections. And basically, <laughs> we're just going to open his mouth and insert the tube down his esophagus. Do you feel me pass? I think I, I saw it. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to slowly give the medications. You can kind of see that he's, go ahead, he's swallowing while we're giving the, the food. And we're actually doing this about twice a day. We always give the food last so that he doesn't spit it up after we are done giving it to him. Okay, and we're going to put him back in the cage. And we're going to continue to offer him food. x-rays of the canvas backed up to try to figure out what else was going on with it because his physical other than him being lethargic we weren't sure what was going on on um, x-rays you can see that there is a whole bunch of this um, very white uh, metallic stuff in, in his um, stomach and so we knew that that was probably lead buckshot uh, one of the things that we did was we went ahead and anesthetized him so that he was sleeping and uh, we went ahead and flushed out all of that lead book shot with water and I uh, just kind of flushed it and kept um, having it rinse out of his stomach. You can see that this is the second x-ray that we took and you can see that we've gotten a lot of the buckshot out compared to what was first into his stomach. And then the final x-ray after our last flushing, you can see we only have one piece of buckshot left in there and we decided it would be really difficult to to know if we got that one piece out so that we went ahead and started in on some medications to that would bind up that lead and prevent it from going into his, his system. One of the concerns that we have not only in um, uh, wildlife uh, but also the zoos, people throwing coins into the duck ponds that we have here at the zoo or bird exhibits or into the tortoise exhibits because this toxicity, these metal toxicities can cause a lot of neurological problems. 
It's also especially bad if you're out in the wild fishing or hunting um, and having the lead buckshot out there. I'm um, really encouraging people not to use lead buckshot because of these um, types of situations. And with especially ducks, if they have neurologic problems and they can't, and they're eating this buckshot because they like shiny things, they're not going to reproduce. And because they don't reproduce, then there's not going to be any ducks for those duck hunters that um, want to hunt. So we really are encouraging people not to use lead buckshot. If you are going to use stuff, make sure that you clean everything out, uh, clean everything up around the area. This kind of ties into a little bit with um, fishermen and fishing hooks. So when you're fishing, make sure that you don't leave your spare fishing hooks lying around because birds will eat those as well, and we've seen those. So it's really kind of a whole group effort, not only with the zoo, but also with wildlife, that we make a concerted effort to uh, maintain our wildlife, um, both exotic and, uh, and North American species.